Good morning, guys and gals. Uh, it's Friday the 18th, about 10 o'clock in the morning. I got out here a little late. Had to go get some gas and things like that for the, for the uh, equipment. But anyways, um, as you guys and gals know, I like to use a picaroon when I'm cutting firewood. I hate bending over and all that good stuff. And I had been using a steel picaroon, brand name Steel, and I love them. They're great. Um, the only thing I wish they were a little longer. And also, for some reason, I keep losing them. Either I break them because I'm being dumb, or I lose them. I set them down somewhere, I put them in a tree, and I drive off and I lose them. So, uh, I was down to my neighbors for timber, and they had a new kind from, that I've never seen before, and it's by Forrester. You can see there. And the price point's not bad, they're about $30. And what I like about it also, a little longer handle. So it swings the whole way down instead of the other, other was right, about right there last time. So we're gonna get this pulled apart, get this opened up, and we're gonna try it out today and see how well it works. Um, just looking at it, it looks the same. It has a little rubber stopper in there for the wood handle that goes up in to the head of the picker room. We'll see how that works. Um, I don't see at the top, they usually have a piece of metal that shoves in there to open the wood up to jam it into the uh, head of the picker room. We'll see how that works, how well it holds up. Because I use these things pretty hard. Um, moving logs, picking up pieces of wood, things like that. So I'm gonna get this opened up. We're gonna clean this mess up. We're gonna pick up all these logs and move them to a general pile so I can split them. And uh, we'll see how this works out. See you in a bit. So I gotta tell you, if you've never dealt with these wild, I think they're called wild grapevines. You can see them all in here. <clears throat> Is these things and they get a lot thicker than that of course but they are an absolute pain so yeah you, know, you cut the limbs loose and I can't pull this out of there I mean it's tied in there to all those wild grapevines again if I'm wrong on the name of those go ahead and correct me um, that's just what I've been calling them I think that's what I heard somebody else call them so um, I think what we're gonna do is get the pole saw out here and limb this up and trim up some of that mess in there. I'll put you all up here so you can see what I'm doing and uh, go to work. And we'll get this tree up and out of here. I think I'm gonna leave a little bit of the trunk sticking out so I can get a hold of it with the tractor so I can pull it up. I may have to go down later, not today, and cut the stump loose so I can pull it up here. Cause I'm pretty sure this, this is the one that just leaned over and the root ball still attached. So we'll get together here. Most of that cleaned up. Well, not cleaned up, but trimmed down. So we should be able to get here and get most of this picked up and moved. Uh, of course, these small limbs, I don't save those for firewood or anything. Now, some of the bigger ones, about the size of a forearm, I might keep those. We'll see how much trouble it is. That's gonna be a mess. All those grapevines, my burn barrel got knocked over. Uh, we'll clean that all up, and then we'll get to the thicker room. Okay, folks, I've been using this Fiskar Spicaroon for a little bit, and uh, let me show you a little bit of what I've been So as you can see, the end is really curved, which I like. It really digs into the wood without much of a swing at all, and uh, very easy to transport logs. 
Another thing I like about it, let me go ahead and get one of these smaller ones real quick for you, is what I really like about it is, you know, with the short one, I couldn't really grab a hold of it two-handed. I could, but it was, you know, like that. I started to bend over a little bit. This really long one, I mean, watch your shin step to the side, swing, but I can really, before I had to really hoist up with my shoulder, this one here, I can really reach down, grab that, pick that log up now, pop it out, and it goes. Another thing I like about it being longer is I'm not, when I'm pulling logs up out of the, out of the woods like this, let me get this started here. Yeah, I'm not bending over as much. I'm standing up pretty, much, pretty straight. I can just walk that log or around right out of the woods like that. Doesn't sound like much, but when you're uh, doing this for several hours and you gotta, you know, do this all the time and pull, my, it's this, this right here is a lot nicer. I can use my legs more as opposed to using my back. That's just a little something about the longer handle which is nice. Um, hickory handle, it is nice. So again, I can reach out, stand up straight, and pull that round to me. Simple as that. So, so far so good. I'm a little suspect of the head on it. I was wrong earlier. It does have a piece of metal in there that connects it. But what happens with a lot of them is this head starts to walk off. And what I mean by that is, as you're digging into pieces of wood, picking up things like that, it starts to walk out of the wood so the head will come out. A um, couple things you can do there. This wood's really dry. Take the head of your picaroon, shove it in a bucket, bucket of water, just up to here, you know, and that will, um, you know, you can see me that will uh, expand that wood. It'll last for a day or two, depending on how hot and dry it is. Or you can take another spacer and try to put it in there. It looks like this one here has two spacers in there. Um, I can see it through the paint now, I mean the sun sunlight, but it's already starting to walk out just a little bit. You can hit it, you know, I spent days where I'm taking the head on this thing on my old steel one and I'm banging it like this to get it back into the, into the wood. And I don't know if you can see that or not, it's starting to walk out. There's a little ridge there. And now it's back to where it was. So we'll see how well this lasts. Again, I use them all the time. I bought two of them. So we'll see. But uh, back to the extent of the pick room, um, I'm sure you'll see it a lot more as I'm out here working. But this car pick room, about half the price of the steel. So. It's a Forester, I said Fiskars, Forester, sorry. Forester picker room, handles nice and long, doesn't have the ball on the end or it's curved handle, so it might slip out. I might put a ball of tape on there, keep it from slipping out of my hand so much. But so far, so good, because sometimes I get to really swinging. We'll see. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.